Hi, so I'm Philippa Gerrard and I'm Head of Department for Animal Welfare and Veterinary Nursing across both of our Morton Moral campuses and Pershaw College. We're here today just to tell you a bit more about the courses that we have on offer here and also show you some of the resources that we have across both of the campuses. So I'll tell you a bit more about the courses that we have on offer here at both Morton Moral and Pershaw. We offer Level 1 Animal Care, Level 2 Animal Care and also Level 3 Animal Management. You can study with us at Level 1 to learn the basic understanding of how to look after animals, what they need to eat, what we need to have in their enclosures to make sure that they're enriched throughout their time at the college and also to prepare you to join our Level 2 course or into further studies. At Level 2, we look at a more advanced look into animals, um, focusing on things like animal biology and anatomy, feeding, housing and accommodation, animal welfare and the ethics behind the looking after of animals and working with them in the industry. And on completion of that, students will either come to us for our two-year extended diploma at Level 3, or you may look to go straight into industry or perhaps look to undertake an apprenticeship. At level three you'll be with us for two years and again you'll get to study a mixture of modules from looking at animal anatomy and physiology through to zoology, wildlife, care of the exotics and also an extensive practical module where you get to look after some of our animals that we have here at both of our animal centres. Finally we also run level three veterinary nursing diploma where you get to study with us for up to two to three years studying one day a week at college and then also having four days in a paid placement in a veterinary practice, really setting you up for your job when you go into industry. So we're now inside the reptile room in one of our animal centres. At both Morton Morrill and Pershaw College, we have an extensive resource that the students get to work on throughout their time during their studies here. All of the indoor facilities have a different room dedicated to a range of species. So for example, this is our reptile room with our resident chameleon. We also have a small mammal room which houses things like our hamsters and our rats, um, our gerbils and our mice. We also then have fish room where the students can undertake studies um, looking to go into perhaps marine biology or working within the aquatic sector. And then we have invertebrate and amphibian rooms where we have a range of toads, frogs, um, different newts and also a range of insects from beetles to spiders to stick insects. In the outside of our animal centres, we have a small livestock area where we have donkeys, goats, sheep, pigs, alpacas. And then we have a, an extensive range of exotic species, particularly at Morton Morrill, where we have meerkats and raccoon dogs and porcupine, coati. And then we also have things like rabbits and guinea pigs and our resident catteries as well. So when the students come to study here at whichever campus, we have a broad range of animals that the students will learn what to feed them, what enrichment they need in their, in their um, enclosures, and also the kind of um, substrates that they need to be able to live happily um, in the facilities. And this also helps prepare the students whilst they're on their work placements and also going into the industry, working in different jobs that require them to have the skills and knowledge of a range of species. If you come here, we can set you up for that for life. So welcome to our small mammal room here at Morton Morrill. Hopefully you can see our resident marmosets having their breakfast behind me. I'm just going to tell you a bit more about the industries that our students go into when they finish with us. So predominantly our students will go into things like retail, so that's working in the pet shop industry, or they may go and work in kennels and catteries where they look after dogs and cats for owners when they're on holiday. Some students end up setting up their own businesses and go into pet sitting and dog walking while others will progress on to HE and look to specialise in courses leading them to go into industry such as veterinary physiotherapists, perhaps um, zoologists working as a zookeeper, or they may go more into marine biology and work in the seas with species out there. We also have a high proportion of our students, again predominantly coming from our veterinary nursing courses, who go directly into full employment with the vet practices that they've been in. Alternatively, some students will look to go down the apprenticeship route and will progress their studies whilst working in the actual industry, but also getting a qualification that they're supported to via college, but more remotely. So we hope that's given you a bit more information about the courses we have here and the opportunities for students once they finish studying with us. We look to welcoming you into, into next year and recommend that you have a look on our website for more of our virtual open events and also some live question and answer sessions where you can actually find out some more information from the tutors themselves. Finally, 
we'd like to point you in the direction of our social media channels. Have a look at what we do on Instagram and our Facebook pages and follow some of the stories and the journeys that our students and our staff go on during their time here at college.